Trainer Steve's gonna teach you how to do some faux beans. Okay, this is how you're gonna do a full finish for the faux beans. First thing you wanna do is take some glaze and put it in a pan and just take take a regular roller and swish it all the way around on here first. Now if you use a glaze, it gives it a lot of time before it dries, so you get a lot of play action. The next step is to get your your wood grain color, your stain, and go ahead and put all that stuff on next. Just like this. You just brush it on here, just like that. Or roll it right out. Okay, the next step you want to do is get some cheesecloth. Take the cheesecloth. That's this stuff here. And it's just like when you were in kindergarten, just finger painting. You want to do the grains with your fingers and just drag it along and be not perfect because grain is not perfect. And then just follow that same exact line that you did. It's as easy as that. And then you can get some other lines, things like this in there. Okay, the next step is take a scumble brush and try to dry brush. Rub, it, rub whatever paint's in here, in here, just to kind of get a dry brush. And then you want to move it almost straight, move the grain straight, or you can fix some of the remaining grains. Some of them are a little squiggly and too out of place, the grain doesn't follow up. So you can fix some of the grains, like this one here. That one doesn't match up, so you can fix it. Just do your touching up with it. Then when you do your touching up with the whole entire bean, then you take it, dry brush, and kind of pull it straight. Very, very little pressure. If you put too much pressure, you're going to have a deep spot like this. You don't want that. You want to go ahead and just kind of let it, just feather it out. Okay, once you go ahead and you soften everything up, you make sure that it work, look, works even. You have a lot of time with this glaze to work with it. So if you need to fix it up, you can touch it up. When you're done with it, right now it looks pretty pronounced. When you're done with it, just let it sit and dry for a day or two, and then come back, and I'll show you the last step later. Okay, the last step, I just let it sit and dry for two days. The last step is to go ahead and stain it. So you go ahead and take your glaze, and then go ahead and apply it again. And then take some cheesecloth again, and wipe it off. And then from there, take a sponge brush, just a sponge brush, and hold it like this and make like kind of a U, like an upside down uh, sad face, and kind of just make that cut mark. It looks like a saw went in there, like 